So one thing that no reseller likes is the permanent marker, also known as a Sharpie. Thrift stores use these to write prices on boxes of items that we want to buy and resell online. We need to remove those prices. Everybody has theories and their own favorite methods of removing, some successful and not so much. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put five popular methods to the test and see which removes the marker the best. All right, now all five of these items are typical household items and I happen to have every single one in my house. I didn't have to go out and buy a single one for this video. The first one is isopropyl rubbing alcohol. The second one is gonna be lighter fluid. The third, nail polish remover. The fourth, WD-40. And the last will be dry erase markers with a sponge to wipe it off. All right, so I'm gonna use this cardboard box. This is a typical product box you'll see in stores. It's cardboard, but it has kind of that glossy finish. Of course, if it was just plain raw cardboard, it would soak right in and there's no getting that off. So what I'm gonna do on one side of this, I guess I'll write the name of each product with the black Sharpie and we'll wait 24 hours and then we'll try to remove each one. And on the other side of the box, we're also gonna do the same thing and we're gonna wait one week and then try to remove those. Now, typically stores write the prices, they put the products out and anything that's good quality is gonna be snatched up by resellers within a day or a few days. So usually you won't come across an item that has Sharpie on it much longer than a week at the most. All right, so I got the black Sharpie. I'll write the name of each item, different locations on this side of the box. Let's do lighter, and then we'll write nail. We could write WD-40, and maybe on the bottom, we'll write dry erase. All right. Alcohol, lighter fluid, nail polish remover, WD-40, and dry erase markers. We're gonna let this sit. Let's just write 24. So we know 24 hours for that side. Now we'll do the same on the other, and we'll make that for one week. All right, and I got the same on the other side, and I marked it one week. So both sides are marked, and we'll let them sit. And just so you see the date, today is Tuesday, November 5th. All right, that's it for today. We'll let that soak in, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. So I'll see you in 24 hours. All right, so I'm back. It's 24 hours later, and let's put these methods to the test. Here's today's time and date. We're about 20 minutes shy of an exact 24 hours. All right, one of the things I always keep around for cleaning product is just a pack of wet wipes. So I'm gonna take one and I'm just gonna make sure that this will not wipe anything off. So here's where I wrote 24 hours. Hmm. Scrubbing hard and nothing. So it's definitely on there good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply each liquid with a Q-tip. That's typically how I would clean them. And I rub it on and I'll wipe it off with a wet wipe. So let's start with the alcohol. came off but it's leaving residue. Let's do a second. All right, alcohol, there's a very faint coloring but it's good enough to be gone. So alcohol after 24 hours works. Next up is the lighter fluid so I don't want to get it anywhere. Do another Q-tip, soak it in the lighter fluid. Now let's rub it on. A 
lighter fluid works after 24 hours. Now let's apply the nail polish remover in this corner. Soak up the Q-tip. Similar to the rubbing alcohol, first rub it came off, but it still leaves it there. So let's do a second. Nail polish remover. Works after 24 hours. Again, I'm going to spray this, put some on the plate. Don't want to get it all over my house. WD-40 works. Definitely took some more scrubbing with the WD-40, but it did come off. And I will also say that after I wipe each one, I'm kind of smelling the box because these do have odors to them, these liquids. And the WD-40, surprisingly, is the only one that's giving off a good odor. The rest you really can't tell. Now for the dry erase method, color over it. And I'm just using the wet wipe to wipe over. Well, that works. Dry eraser, color over the whole writing. And then I just took a wet wipe and wiped it off. You could use a sponge, a rag, or whatever. And it came off. All right, surprisingly, they all worked. The WD-40 probably took a little more effort than the others. And it does leave a slight oil odor, but any of these methods you have around the house, they work. So in five days, we'll come back and we'll do the other side of the box and see if there's any difference with the ink sitting for five days. All right, I'm back. It's actually been six days since we marked the box. We did one after 24 hours. And now let's do the other side and see if with that ink sitting for that long it makes any kind of difference in removing it. Here's the date. It's the 11th. We did the first marking on the 5th, first removal on the 6th. This is the side we marked six days ago. Let's start with the alcohol. I'll do a Q-tip, rub it on, wipe it off. I'm going to do the same exact method as I did the other way. All right, you can faintly see it. Let's do the lighter fluid. I'm just going to pour some in a little plate again. That came off real good. Now we'll do the nail polish remover. Let's see what this does. Pretty much all gone. You can faintly see it a little. Now we'll do the WD-40. Well, that takes a lot of rubbing. And that's gone. You can see a little bit. And one more. Dry erase marker. We're just going to go over it. This one, if not knowing whether it's going to work or not, would make me the most nervous. <laughs> because what you have to do to it, you end up making it look a lot worse. I'm just going to take a wet wipe. A few spots stayed. And it's gone. So after testing those different methods, the conclusion is they all work. 
Now, some are definitely easier than the others. Personally, I have always used that rubbing alcohol with a Q-tip and then wipe it off with a towel or a wet wipe. But now I think I have a new favorite. The bottom ones I would say are the WD-40. That would be my last choice. It gives off a bit of an odor. It's got an oily feel, of course, and it was tough to remove. You really had to scrub hard. Same for the lighter fluid and the nail polish. They were a little easier than that, but you still had to scrub them pretty good. The rubbing alcohol, it took it right off and you just have to wipe it neat. Sometimes you have to do a second, you know, application, but it came off. But my new favorite, the dry erase pen. Now, like I said, it makes you nervous because you got to color it and you're thinking, oh, if it doesn't come out, it's going to look way worse. But it wipes off so easy. I use just like a just a wet wipe, you know, baby wipes, whatever you get. Um, you can use a damp paper towel, a damp towel, whatever be the case. But this is the neatest way. This took the least amount of effort and is also the neatest because there's no liquids involved. So dry erase to me is the winner. Now, of course, this is just on a cardboard box that, you know, a lot of products come in that has this kind of glossy finish to it. It's not raw cardboard. You know, we, all, we do come across items that have plastic with marker on it or clothing, you know, the tags are marker. Those are a whole different story. This test was obviously just for the cardboard with the gloss. So I hope this makes your decision easier on what to use. All these products, you know, are easy to find at the store. A lot of them you just have around your house. But dry erase is my new thing. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped you out. If you like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos, and I'll see you later. Bye.